We are carrying on with our fall mushroom harvest where we left off in the previous episode. Check that out if you want to see how the day started off. Next, we are heading back to a section of mountain old growth forest to continue harvesting winter chanterelle mushrooms. I studied the GPS last night and I realized that there was a, a section of old growth trees that we missed. So we did well in the old growth yesterday, so we're going to try to get right back into that, clean that up, and then just tie up a few loose ends here before, before moving on. Let's load up. Let's do it. So here's this old growth forest again, and yesterday we didn't go any further that way than about here. We, we worked this and over to the lake. So today we just want to check over that way, see if it gets into more old growth. <coughs> really hiding through here. Through the salal. I was hoping it would open up more into a mossy area, but I think this is pretty thick with salal the whole way through here. But you know what? They're nice quality, so I'm going to work this for a bit. It might be a little slower, but quality makes up for that in my opinion. Let's go check out the lake while we're down here. Oh, nice little log. How are you making out? There's a little bit of clear ground on the end here. Okay, I'm gonna try to cut back through it here now. Well, your camera is at eye level right now. It opens up down to the left. Ah. These ones were calling me. Okay, sounds good.
cell right right there. So there's one or two more spots we want to check over this direction now. Okay, so I'm up to here, but I've been at this level for the last 10 minutes of picking. With the yellowfoot chanterelles, when you get to around a three quarters of a bucket, they start to, the weight starts to condense the ones below a little bit. And so you just keep putting mushrooms in and you don't get past that point for a while and then suddenly you fill your bucket. But that also means that a bucket is real heavy. Oh, my bucket earlier was 20 pounds with the extender full right there. <laughs> That's a lot. Nice line here. There's got to be like 200 mushrooms here. Starts here and it curves. Wow.
Okay, full right up to here. I'm gonna head back to the truck. Seventeen, eighteen pounds in this bucket here. That was a nice bucket there. I'm not sure how it looks in the video, if it looks easy doing this or not, but you know, climbing over the rocks and logs all day through Salal, that's one thing. Doing it while carrying a 15 or 20 pound bucket and trying to balance that, and that definitely adds a lot of strain on the body, but I'm hurting a bit. Just wear and tear. Takes a toll doing this, but we love doing it. These are really full so I'm gonna guess that so far we have 22 pounds in each so probably 65 66 pounds I'm saying these are heavier than the ones yesterday because we put so much more in could be and they're 25 so 75 yeah, pounds. Could, yeah that'd be nice <laughs> now we, we could keep going here but last night when we drove out super dangerous road and it was pitch black so it'd be better to get back home before it's uh, totally... And my back starts to seize up. Yeah, that too. Getting sore. However, we're going to do some road scouting and check some other new areas just off the road uh, before we're done today. <laughs> it's a big one. <laughs> Look at the size of these. Winter chanterelles. So we just discovered a road system that accesses a whole bunch more ground and I got a really good view here of something I want to show you. So if you look carefully, I'm going to fly the drone up here in a second, but I want to explain this first. You can see right here, this part, nice big trees. They're at least 87 years old, but possibly as old as like 100 from when it was logged uh, old school style but they never logged the top. So this piece here is first growth, ancient forest. So I'm gonna to try to fly the drone up there and see if we can look at those trees. Um, I got a nice clean shot of good GPS signal with the drone, so I think I should be able to film those. That's some nice looking forest up there. So 
I'm gonna hike up there one of these days, maybe next year. It's, uh, it's a bit of a hill to climb up, but there was some nice looking ground on the way up. And I would love just to go look at the trees up there. Anyways, we're gonna call it a day here. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope to see you next time. Thank you very much, you guys. Enjoy.